actually. Long left on the clock for their final pick. Venom. Venom answer comes hero. out. But a bit more pressure on that Sven in the stages of the game. And expecting, yep, the mid tinker there. Andriano grabs it up. Theo Nightstalker. Or. And then he just invades enemies and takes it. Block mine, I steal yours. Bad. Planes all get set up because you were saying that you do like Lion to have a bit more farm priority. Here, yeah, gonna be five. Is that juggernaut for Coast to be able to leave that job. Oh, wow. yeah. Like you've been saying, that their, their team fight is, is overwhelming. Even at level one, you know, they don't have their ultimates yet. They've still got plenty of stuns and catch to be able to grab a kill early on. That's G. Making their way. Down across here. There's a stun. And starts it up. They chain it up with Chuan catching out the Venom Ant. So it's a nice earth spine. But Tarbo still going to be found. They wanted to give this first blood to Chuan. Just so that he has a bit more advantage on the mid lane. Yeah. A bit more worried about his lane stage. Water in spawning. He'll get that refill. Problems whatsoever for him, while KJ having some serious problems. Courier gonna come out, not gonna get sniped, walks into the Roche pit, but the body blocks and the cops. Secure a kill here. Oh, Roshan, he's killing off the Lashrak. KJ, can he deny himself? Not the bash. Oh my god, Roshan to a double kill. It's Tim Roshan. <laughs> That was such a nice player there from Lion, uh, getting inside the pit to share. Hello, SG trying to make something happen. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Two minutes until night time, but we do have the Dark Ascension. And this is where this little combo starts to come into play. Night Stalker with a Tinker, spamming the easy missiles, cancelling Jam's TP. They want more than just the clockwork, though. That's where Coaster Bill comes in. Now, Omni Slash on the trend. They got death in the vicinity, and he jumps across to him. He bounces the Omni Slash back in, but they'll still lose the left track. It's a good supernova on the high ground. Get back from Coaster Bill, and a green man ravage. Death blinds the connection, but it looks like Raven right now. Trouble. He's being blinded, he can't turn and hit them. Denied, potentially, more alive. No, death doesn't blind it. SG, they battle into the team fight combo. Fnatic can come out on top. Walker dies, but needs to be the one who jumps it again. It was unfortunate, like they sh shared the damage. It was a nice play from them there, but um, you know, you're still gonna die. Sven needs a BKB. Uh, he has Link Dagger queued up before BKB. Might be forced to get a BKB before to be able to deal with the silences, deal with Tinker, and also Lion. Another kill there. Fine jabs, trading out for Tavo, but it's DJ being hunted down by the Night Stalker. Fortunately for DJ, though, Raven holds them back, dodging this. Ravage on cooldown for 15 seconds, so no real intention of fighting mid. They'll try to force it onto the Dire doorstep, and they get a good stun. Chuen starts it off and allows Death just to come in to take out KJ. So, uh, here are missing here from SG, they're, they're still roaming across the map and wanting to battle, though. The Olicor, he's ready to go in. Also, Dark Ascension available. There's Ravage and Ember. This seems like a little, a little bit risky. There's the Egg, Supernova's out, Stormhammer stunned, Theo's gone. Earth support shredded by Fnatic. SG, not able to really defend this top tier 2 anymore. I always laugh when Night Stalker tries to go in and the Phoenix just <laughs> uses egg. Daytime, nighttime. Free TP. Convenience. You can TP with level 2. On units, level 3. You can TP to heroes. Radiance bottom tower so we're going to see more of a thinker. Maybe Thinker saving it for day 2, day 3. So we will see a bit more of a thinker. Not, much good's Not saying I'm a fan. Thinker tower. games. Sometimes gets something get a bit boring. Raven ready to jump in. That's the BKB disassembled his Echo Saber. Yeah, I guess he's not the, the same tinker as before, right? Where it was farm, soul ring, boots of travel, blink. I'm going to TP to every side lane, march, Christ vacuum the up all the gold on the map, and then be able to kill. DJ blocks a sentry down. Dire are the ones with the vision advantage, forcing a supernova, but that burst out from Raven. Stalker. We've seen this before. Night Stalker tries to go on. 
Phoenix, silence him up. Phoenix is a very tough kill to get unless they get Lion. The Echo Saber paying off. I don't mind seeing it on Juggernaut. Gives you good stats, mana region. I feel like the same thing. Oh, hello. Hands a double blink. Jump on the Theo. Nice look to get again. The first point of contact. Those things aren't cheap, you know. Lampley removing from the game. I think it's time to roast. Raven has multi available. They're grouping around. Ravage also online. 20 seconds without a Night Stalker who does not have a buyback. It's daytime, no ulti. They need to let this one go. It's like the first time we saw Spectre by the Echo Saber. I think the same phrase, the same sentence was said is everything you need. Actiness, mana regen, bit of this, bit of that. Double attack out. You've got a, you've got a passive there. You know, that's on Spectre. You've got crit on Spectre. Down. Look where he goes. Now we're going to be out. Maybe even go for the full barracks. But Fnatic playing it the uh, real safe. XG. Like this. In comes Theo over there. The Sun Rain turns it back to Dayside. KJ. He's taken out very quickly. It's one of the cogs. Well, Death and Twin, they're looking for more. Theo has got himself away from Raven. That BKB and God Strength not paying off for him. And all things considered, SG walking in there and only losing their lion seems pretty good. SG trying to buy time for Thinker to uh, become more annoying. Next item, BKB, very interesting. Be able to protect himself against Clockwork, uh, against Leshrac and Ravage, of course. Incoming. Yeah, if he gets Blink Ravaged. Lotus Orb done on Tidehunter, not that item. Hello. There's the Ravage. There's the two man. Connects on Coast to be able, he does get the spin out, and he's out of there. Three man started to Ravage in the line as well. Finger of Death not appearing to do too much. Now it's their time to strike. The they need to change. Raven's very low. No BKB, no long strength. And the lasers have spammed out onto him. The two cores gone. Aegis expires. We're going to respawn in the midst of it all. Surrounded by three heroes. And no surviving from this. A double for Adriano as he does find death on the back lines. And Dwemp, cleared up by Kostabil. Oh, man. Raven did not stun Juggernaut on time. I guess status assistance didn't count that in. Coming up from... Uh, SNY on Juggernaut. Two percent. Radiant Observer Ward by Sentry. No, no dire vision there of this smoke. And a very good scan. Fnatic know exactly where they are with that rocket player in particular, and they jump on the Theo. Yet again, the target of choice destroyed immediately. To win. He's moved on to the Juggernaut for the Omni Slash, bouncing in with that, dead. that laser and a finger of death. Twin is just gone. The turnaround back towards the spend now. He's forced to be taken by the great hook shot. Jab to the help of Ravid, catching out the Tinker. The second hook shot as well, and Raven with a double kill. Constable's got a lot on his plate now as SG buying back with a Tinker, matching that on the track, but knowing that God's strength and BKB are about to be done from the Sven, but the only Silver Edge, he's in Miz, he turns with a stun and then he decides to run. Buy back from Adriano, they need to fall back. BKBs are down, they have no big ulties left, so they, they just need to chase. DJ's gone. Trade into Roche bit. <laughs> And Lashrak also fall back, right? So Once you're where? defending the base and coming back into the fight. DJ's having a lot of fun. 45 seconds or so, sitting in here behind a tree, just biding his time, waiting for the moment to dive in. Oh, look at next to the immediate snap and back from KJ, catches the Phoenix. He does have buyback. <laughs> Can't spell die without die, Gary. <laughs> He was waiting, like, he, he wanted this death to be very special. That's all the KJ, mid-air hex. Quick fingers, got him mid-dive. Raven. Look at how much damage he's taking out from the Juggernaut. The shard through the spin, getting the right clicks out with a fully completed mill there now. And SG looking to pressure the melee barracks. Thing so far, looking like it can stop this man on the front lines. And four heroes sit very defensively, waiting Wait, behind it. Is... Good rocket flare to give a bit of vision here for Fnatic, but and it's not in any rush to jump in and fight. They're actually bailing on it. They do not want to defend this top lane. They clip it, but they evade the fight itself. Still minute and 20 left on that Aegis. 
Melee barracks killed. Disciplined play, isn't it? Yeah, th I guess that's the main reason why they decided to give Juggernaut. Aegis instead of Tinker, he will be the front line. Fnatic out of the base. They know they can't let this happen. They can't just allow them to slowly siege and lose the catapult wave. This is what SG has been waiting for. Isn't it? They are whittling away at Rochan. I mean, little by little, they're going in. Set point in that. Spin, bam. Caught out by Fnatic. Do we have any smokes left? It feels like Fnatic have, have changed by the year. the entirety of Fnatic's team fight ultimates expended only getting a kill on the night stalker that leaves roshan wide open now to sg for juggernaut to wander into the pit venomancer had the c on this for a while i don't know what the plan there was kind of burst him can't do it with e on this there's gonna be a four stab he got the ulti off raven jumps in it leads kj Whoa. Back and now it's Juggernaut, BKB and Spin, the double magic community, shiny golden god, Juggernaut onto Raven, the Sven's been bashed, slaying the beast. Oh, Raven boys back. He doesn't have god strength or, or BKB, but they, they know they have to do something. They've got to fight here, Trent. Oh, Jerry me, he's got Flicker BKB, but he's been hexed up now. The buyback from KJ allows him back into the fight, and the Spin from the Juggernaut, slaying yet another. Giant 7 armor. But one thing the Sven could have done there is buy shard. He was getting at the 7,000 gold. So the spell mechanic remove that Eon disc to burst him down. That's a good point, yeah. He could have gone that direction. Now Sven, yeah. all of his gold, Sven Blink. Good shot in. Good shot, jabs. Locked in the pit. Tarbo holding the bank with a gale on the play boards. The ace is grabbed by Coach to be able to die. Oh, Phoenix stole the cheese. He steals out the cheese. Yes, he's the DJ Clark. He's gonna pay for it. Not like dead for 100 seconds. SG with a convincing victory around the pit. Yet again getting their hands on the Aegis. 65.7% status assist. Fence Matrix, SNY. And the neutral item, yep. Some nasty stuff on the judge. Plus double magic Raven. Oh, KJ with the on disc now. Raven can't clear through him. Dia pops his BKB and gets himself over the trees. Supernova looks pretty wasted. As Coach to Beal still holding Aegis for 40 seconds. Has Omni Slash ready, but the Lotus Orbs forcing him to hold it even longer as he spins back and drops through the hook shot and jab. He's gonna get pummeled by SG. Forced to buy back now. The good thing about Night Stalker when Phoenix uses his ulti is you're still flying, so you can get away from uh, like you can get over the hills, which actually saves his life. It's gonna be another set of barracks for SG. There's only one left. Not for long. No seconds left on Aegis. Can they time it? One minute cooldown on Glyph. And the Ravage comes in. Goes to build over, there is some significant damage. Raven dead without the buyback. Two heroes trapped in the cogs means the only slash. No force to G's out of trend, but GG has been called. SG take game one here up against Fnatic. Very slow, methodical win from SG. They understood their timing. They knew what the, how their lineup is built. Early on, they struggled quite a lot. They had both support.